Hi guys, this is Rachit and with me is Paresh. And today we are going to talk about uh, an introduction to customer engagement apps for people who have not really worked with this. So Paresh, I am a Dynamics 365 finance and operations professional mm -hmm. and you are an expert in Dynamics 365 for customer engagement apps. Yep. Uh, in recent times, there have been a lot of new tools released by Microsoft, mm -hmm. which are bringing these two applications closer to each other. Yeah. And uh, we hear this term a lot, Dynamics 365 for customer engagement. Mm -hmm. So I want to understand from you in a layman's term, mm -hmm. what is Dynamics 365 for customer engagement? For people like me who, who are in Dynamics 365 ecosystem but have not really worked with this app. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, um, that's a very relevant question, uh, Rachit. And also, I think uh, you're also asking from perspective of customers mm -hmm. who are really looking for a business solution, which can, uh, you know, especially those who are facing customers and working with sales and opportunities for those who are looking for a you know business solution. Right. From that perspective as well, you're asking that question and that's quite relevant. So let me just um, give you a brief overview. Well, uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 Customer Engagement, or you may also hear the term D365CE, it's the same. So it's a leading um, cloud-based uh, customer relationship management. Uh, we try. We like to call it customer engagement rather than customer management because we are not managing the customers. Yeah. We are trying to engage with the customers, right? Yeah. So it's a business solution that can uh, actually help you drive sales productivity and improve value of your marketing efforts um, through social insights, uh, through business intelligence and um, campaign management as well. So it, it has got a wide variety of offerings. Uh, for example, uh, you know, D365 for sales, for customer service, if you're working with uh, customer support and all, uh, and if you're working with projects, then we have a project service automation. It's also known as PSA in short, and we also have field service. And there are various um, AI components also, which are coming into the picture, with, uh, which is bringing lots of sales insights and customer insights as, as well. Right. So, um, yeah, so, for, the thing is that okay why as a customer i should choose uh see i think maybe that that that's also your question mm -hmm. so um if you want to uh, assist your customer anywhere from any device and especially in this COVID times uh, you now know that the cloud platform works right yeah. so if you want to work like that and if yeah. you want your business to continue yeah. <laughs> i think you should choose the cloud platform that microsoft provides so if you can assist your customers anywhere from any device from your mobile device from your laptop or anywhere especially if you have internet you can assist your um, uh, your customers and if you want to build your network and deepen customer relationships with social insights that's also possible if you want to create meaningful uh, let's say personalized customer experience uh, to improve sales growth also then you know um, this cloud platform uh, is very uh, let's say is very useful and uh, of course, in today's time, if you want to work smarter and work closer to your customers and leverage every, you know, uh, everything possible um, based on your relationship with the customer, it would be really good to use this um, uh, this tool because it's highly, uh, you know, um, you know, customer focused, and you can capture all the data. You can even use that data to, you know, uh, generate the insights and also have dashboards and reports, which is all available. You can even analyze your sales data and discover relevant information uh, using interactive charts, uh, which are out of the box. And you can also launch, uh, you know, multi-phase marketing campaigns as well using this tool. So there are a lot of possibilities. I'm just telling you in a nutshell that, you know, uh, why you should, uh, or if you're looking for a, for a business solution, why you should choose Microsoft uh, Dynamics 365 CE. Cool. So that's quite insightful, Parish. And uh, as you have uh, given us a high level summary it looks like each of the terms which you have told is like a field service or campaign management mm -hmm. or or your sales management each of these term has a very deep underlying plethora of functionalities available within it but what i understand is that customer engagement is a is a combination of different apps which help you to engage with customers and they are not really meant to do your back office uh, operational activities it is more for salespeople, project managers, and people who take care of your customers. Exactly. To use these app to engage with them. Yeah. Right. You're, you're absolutely right, Rachet. And 
it's if you think that it's a finance system no it's not a finance system yeah. you said that you come from uh, finance background or right. if you are coming from business central background yeah. those are your finance uh, finance systems right? right but it can seamlessly interact with those systems if you're already using it or if you're thinking of using it right. um, let me just um, move forward and, uh, and and elaborate on how it can actually um, uh, you know collaborate with those ERP systems as yeah. well mm -hmm. well um, it, it is based on something called as Microsoft Power Platform. Now, it's a subset of Microsoft Power Platform. Uh, you will be hearing this term a lot recently. Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> all it yeah. actually means is that, you know, um, there is power in the Microsoft Platform. Hence, mm -hmm. Microsoft Power Platform. What it means is that it's a low code platform that spans across Office 365, Azure, Dynamics 365 and standalone applications as well. So yeah. there are data connectors, there are AI builders and there are something called as um, Dataverse. It was called as uh, Common Data Service previously, which actually holds your data. Mm -hmm. So it's based on that. And I think your FinOps is also based on that. So they can actually interact with each other quite seamlessly. So if I elaborate more on Power Platform, which is the buzzword these days, mm -hmm. uh, there are four major components that is Power BI for your business analytics you can do that with uh, you can integrate that with uh, ce it will work seamlessly because it's based on microsoft uh, power platform yeah. then you have power apps for application development mm -hmm. yes you can do that and then you have power automate for your process automation you can even create a power automate from within uh, dynamic 365 ce you don't have to you know go out and do do something but it seamlessly integrates with that and then you have some power virtual agents for intelligent, intelligent virtual agents uh, or if you want to use chatbots and all. So all that those possibilities are available. So in a nutshell, Dynamics 365 um, is, a, is a subset of Dynamics Power Platform and Microsoft uh, Dataverse, which uh, was previously called as Common Data Service, as I said, and that holds all your data. So it, it is quite secure and it, it manages the data quite well. And that is where you can, you know, um, link with your connectors. It can talk to FinOps, it can talk to Business Central, it can talk to any uh, Microsoft uh, product that is available. And yeah. since you, uh, and I believe uh, most of the customers are already using Microsoft products like Office 365 with Microsoft Excel, you know, um, uh, document, PDF, all those capabilities are inbuilt and you don't have to worry about any separate integration as such. So that's great, Paresh. So what I understand is Dynamics 365 customer engagement can talk to Power Platform seamlessly. Exactly. And you can, for example, bring your data out of CE into mm -hmm. CDS, into Power BI dashboard, mm -hmm. or you can create a portal for your customers. Exactly. Which is not, you know, which is directly going back to CE. Mm -hmm. You can bring the automation and business logic out of CE yes. and uh, use the power platform to build that amazing experience for yeah. your customers. And in most of the cases, you don't even have to export the data with the connectors. Mm -hmm. Let's say if you're using Power BI, it, will, it can directly talk to your CE and can bring out the relevant uh, uh, you know, reports that you want. So um, yeah, that's, that's, uh, those capabilities are available and, right. and yeah, it's, you can go ahead and try to use them as well. Yeah. Well, that was uh, a good knowledge of, uh, you know, good information. Paresh, thanks a lot for sharing that with yeah, us. And yeah. now I know what is Dynamics 365 for customer <laughs> engagement. See you guys next time. <laughs>